meeting uh, 630 call the Halifax planning board in the session all members present except for um, Larry Belcher uh, on the agenda we have uh, 635 continuation of public hearing for uh, special permit number 1901 <coughs> 139 Hemlock Lane and seven o'clock we have uh, appointment Bob Mathers discussion for zoning I'm sorry, the public hearing for a site plan. Um, and then we have, um, on the new business, we have a discussion for a submittal on O'Reilly's Auto Parts, and then minutes and bills. Do I have a motion to accept the agenda as read? Make a motion to accept the agenda as read. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Like yeah. make a motion to no, yeah. six thirty five. Oh. Yeah. 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 I can make a motion to pay a plenty, uh, pay a bill um, for the Plimpton Halifax Express regarding a public hearing notice meeting legal ad number one three one zero three nine nine the O'Reilly site plan review ad was on two fifteen nineteen and two twenty two nineteen in the amount of eighty four dollars. Do you have a motion or a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think one of them is still I can't do. Well, the other three are here for January yeah. 17th. February yeah. 7th is um, a little bit longer. Um, do we have them in here? Too long to, for eight pages. Oh, we have them here yet. Oh, let's see if we do one of them. Yeah. What's the mail? Oh. I think you got it. You're confused because I brought back another folder. Sorry. Yeah, I can't do this one. I read them though, okay. via the PDF. Motion to approve the meeting minutes from January 17th, 2019. Members present, Gordon Andrews, Mark Milius, Carlos Scalti. I right, have a motion as a second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye.
Okay, time being 6.35. Do I have a motion to um, open up the public hearing? Motion to open it. To, motion to continue the public hearing 19 SPR 01 for 139 Hemlock Lane Mudfest. A motion is a second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Is everybody here for the same public hearing? No. Okay. I want to grab this and they said, I know what they need and what they want, so I hope. Yeah. This is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've had, had a couple minutes to take a look over it, and it seems like everything oh, we're yeah. looking yeah. for is on there. And it also looks like you were able to meet that 100 foot setback in that yeah. corner. So right that's on the edge, yeah. Um, also had a chance to read the, the recommendation. recommendation, yeah, from Fire Department and Police. They yeah. both seem satisfied with it. The, the key thing with our fire, he was, um, you know, little, like, 25-foot access, blah, 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 is that all they have? And I just have a reassurance, I think it's just a temporary, there's no permanent structures yeah. in your way. Right. It's all smoke fences, you can pop a couple of things, you can get anywhere, you got to go, you know? Yeah. Um, so, was this plan just prepared as of today? The yep, plan was, I picked it up the day before yesterday. So, has this been sent out to all the boards? I, um, I presented, um, I had a smaller copy for myself, and that's what I presented to fire and police, so I don't know how yeah. Yeah. Well to do but I don't think anybody else got a copy of it. That's all I was looking at. And uh, I do have copies here. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that I would say is that you know, basically, all we had was like a napkin drawn before. We need to get this out to the board so that they can at least take a look at it, see what we're looking at. So I would say that we probably wouldn't vote tonight. That we'll uh, we'll ask for an extension because of you know the late time getting this in. And that way, that'll give the time for the, any other boards to come up with a comment. Okay. But we'll definitely have discussion on this and see if we can move this forward. Uh, Is there anybody in the public that's here for others? It's just a request for the courts to know. Yeah. I was just asking if anybody else was here for this mud fest hearing. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, so, open for discussion. Do you want to hear a comment from the participants, or do you want to go yeah. first? Oh, I just um, was kind of throwing it due to um, time frame with the current law stuff going on in Boston. Um, we were going to pull and make it a mute decision of a prior decision of um, like just being an uh, agricultural. Thing. So it's kind of um, time sensitive with approval with this to be in uh, confirmation of the agreement that we had, like, should be no problem with the boards and so on and so forth before we pull down. So that's, that's a little time sensitive. I don't know when the next time. Um, <clears throat> our, next, our next meeting would be March 7th. Um, that would give the other boards and everyone enough time to take a look at this. Um, all the information that we were looking for, I believe, is there, so, so I don't see any issues. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get some more chairs. Mm -hmm. I have to move to the big room. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, I don't see anything. You want chairs? No. Everything that we asked for is in the little kitchen anyway if you want to grab one. Everything that we asked to provide all falls within what we were saying. Yeah, I think. One of the main things, one of the main things too was the police and the police and fire and they both, they both had no problems with it. One thing that does need to be put into the 
meeting, though, I was seeing that the meeting. We did get comments from. Highway. Highway says. Um, highway sent us a note saying that the highway surveyor Steve Hayward wants Hemlock Lane to be completely swept after each event. I don't know if that was something that was. It was mentioned that, that's before. mentioned before. Or was, I just, yeah, but it was hard to detect what uh, Mezzarella brings down with the tractors yeah. and what's ours. Yeah. And, um, God, it, it, it's been very kind to us. It's usually rains a couple of days after the event and the roads are clear. It goes so away. It's, it's hard to uh, yeah. decipher. But if that's a. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the. Highway surveyor is talking about maybe like if they're if they're concerned about the mud being trailed onto the dirt road or trash. I'm not sure. Yeah, There's like that could no be trash. anything. Yeah, that could be anything. It wasn't it's detailed. Good. Yeah, the, the, the comment wasn't really. Because the bus is well, coming around up it. there. And it's I didn't see it. Dirt and it's hard to decipher which is which. Oh, this one. All right. And I think the comment was also that if the town needs to sweep no. it, they would do it and they would send you a bill for it. Oh, right. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it with my best effort. I can go out yeah. there. I have a portable power wash and I'll power wash the thing if I have to. Okay. So, yeah, so as long as it's a matter of... You'd be willing to if you can, if you can tell that there's extra money yeah. getting tracked on there. You know, if you really want to get technical and really start chasing dirt around here, some it, I think it was more of a concern with all the mud trucks coming out of the pits and yes. down the road. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I was always hoping that, you know, maybe we can make a cleaning station prior to that. Yeah. That That's not a bad idea. Even come to the street. It seems like a lot of vehicles get trailered in. Exactly. The yeah. Of them. Well, the younger kids, they drive them in, drive them out if they can get them out of there. If they don't break anything. It's not much different than, um, you know, the, the, the corn maze when the people are parking on the, on the property and it's a little yeah. muddy over there. The guy's driving out and it's about the same thing. It doesn't matter the people's street rooms, I guess, going sweeping the heavy stuff out. Yeah. So I wasn't at the last meeting, but did the issue of the noise get discussed no. at the last meeting? No. Have you seen any of the letters submitted that are requesting for information on how you're going to comply with any sort of noise levels generated from the project? I am not. I know there was a. We have no amplified music after six. You know, and I guess the law is nine o'clock at night. Actually, I'm not amplified. I believe that's actually the, the special permit in the Ukrainian Authority actually sets any regulations yeah. on noise. That's yeah. not actually planning wood. So was that in the zoning decision? Uh, it's in the zoning violation. Yeah. The special permit was granted already by the CBA, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. So that's one thing that wasn't in the decision, it looks like, in terms of any sort of a threshold for maximum noise generated by the site. Do you guys ever talk about that? Absolutely not. That? My lawyers never mentioned anything. Usually that was done by the board. It was selected. Okay. Written up on their presentation. I only asked because there was a letter that was submitted uh, from a resident on Paradise Lane asking about your compliance with, is that you? I don't know if maybe it makes sense that you articulate sure. what it is that you're looking for here. Yeah, you want me to just talk about the noise piece? Well, it's open for discussion, so if you have any okay. anything that you want to add to this, is, this is time. Okay. I think the floor is yours. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Stephen Brown, um, Paradise Line. I grew up here and then left for a long time and then came back afterwards. 
And I have a couple of concerns that I want to address. The first thing is that I think it's important when anyone requests a variance that the proposal that is set forth is complete, accurate, and gives all the detail that is necessary so everybody has a chance to review it and talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the first point I want to make. I don't like having people sort of give a blank, asking for a blank check, because I don't think it's appropriate. The second thing, that one of the things that's on the uh, actual list of things to do, one thing that's not covered is dealing with noise. And that is one thing I think that we need to look at and consider, especially since uh, Mass DEP basically states that anything that increases sound level from a new use over 10 decibels above ambient conditions is not allowed. Or if, in fact, that they have to be mitigated if, in fact, that noise is there. So if you are proposing a land use that goes over that threshold, then either they have got to mitigate it or it can't, be, can't occur. I don't want to interrupt you, but if you want me to address that issue, this is an operating farm. So but it, as far as about, the increase of sound... is what's happening at the Mudfest. Yes. So what I'm addressing is Mudfest. The farm has no problem. It doesn't generate any... It may have some... Well, energy. No, what I'm saying is the, the standard that you're referring to is says that it's an increase over the normal operating yes. sound. Whereas the normal operating is a farm that's, it's tough to put a threshold on that. It's a, it's a loud operating But if place. you measure what the mud fest, if you actually, no, it's not very difficult to figure out there's a difference between what's operating on the farm and what the mud fest is. All you need to do is go, like on Paradise Lane, it sounds like there's a Daytona 500 going on here. And that's a much different use than something going on in terms of a farm operation in and of itself. And okay. if you look at the regulations, and I brought a copy with you and you can view them, my sense is that would apply to the situation. And so that if you basically approve an, an action occurring on the land that basically goes beyond those thresholds, either they have to mitigate it or they've got to stop it, or you've got to find a way in which that law or regulation that I'm stating about, it doesn't cover it. I, um, when I looked at it, I don't see how that applies to a special permitting outdoor event. I think that when I read the state law, I didn't, I didn't make a connection there. So I don't think that that applies to a special event. It's a, so it's a one-time event. Well, it's as far than, as the noise and the... one-time event. It's going to happen several times. And uh, the thing is, once you approve it, it may be the more than... So I'm only allowed two a year. But, that's, hours but a that year. often happens is that once you get the foot... No, the whole thing. No, of course, no, this is a legality... Oh, all right, but we don't have a discussion back yeah. and forth. Okay. Okay. So, so anyway, I just want to make that point. point, but I would want to make sure that you check the legal counsel whether, in fact, my point is accurate or not accurate and I will yield to what they state. My sense is it does, it will need to be addressed, and also that it is something that needs to move forward. So that's one of the points. The other thing is that beyond that, if that land, when I looked at the site plan, it looks like there's going to be significant alteration of that land to accommodate this use. Have you, have you seen a copy of this? I have seen the one that was online. I haven't seen the newest one. Okay, because this has more detail on it. Okay. The only thing I was, wanted to, the point I wanted to make is that if this, now is this going to be land going to be used for agriculture after these events? Mm -hmm. Always is. Yes. Okay. It then returns. That, okay. As long uh, no, as, nothing, is, there's no actual permanent changes or alterations. Well, there's, I mean, I saw that the Jersey barriers being brought in that there's a changes in terms of uh, something to stay those, those are all non-permanent. But are they removed? Yes. Okay, right. is a stipulation? Yeah, as needed. As, as needed for the farm. But yeah. is, are they removed after the event? Off-site? I, I don't or know. Or someplace that, since it, enough to, so that that land is going to continue? Yeah, to yeah so I, 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 I'm sure that the, the property owner wouldn't allow them to stay in a way that would hinder okay. his... I guess my exactly. point is that would be fine. I just yeah. want to make sure that oh, the stipulation in this occurs 
that any structures that occur on there are cleared away after the event so that farming at Clopas can occur. Because the problem is if you don't do that, what's going to happen because it's over a five acre piece is may trip the beeper requirement, threshold requirements, and environmental notification have to be filed. But as long as it's being back back to agriculture, I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, that's always been the intent. Okay. And the MEPA filing, you only have to file if you need a state permit as well. So if you don't yeah. need a state permit, then you well, Also, if you're taking the land off agriculture. But if it's going back to agriculture, yeah, it's not an issue. issue. Right? Yes, yeah, sir. But if it's going to be on agriculture... Yeah, there will be no zoning changes. Okay, so I just want to make sure of that. The other piece that also will probably relate to it is that when you start to clear land and you have equipment, the more likelihood you're going to have to have a MEPA net storm water permit. Um, which is not a big deal, but it is something that when you do clear land and you clear grass, that you will need to get one from the EPA. It's not a big issue, but it is something, again, a threshold that needs to be looked at and make sure it, the conditions are met. The purpose of that act is basically to ensure that any water, either so strong, that the soil is stabilized and the soil does not go off site. But like any time I've worked on a big project, you usually have to get one of those permits. It's not a big deal, but it's one of those things that you, you, when you're looking at what needs to be done, that has to be covered. Yeah, one of the things that we've provided is a, we're over 100 feet, so we have a, a large buffer between any property. A 100 feet would be yeah, adequate for anything. Well, when I've had to work on those permits, also, they do look where the wetlands are on the water is, but it's just one of those things you need to put in place to have happen. It's not a big deal, uh, but it basically, whenever you clear land and strip it, I, I, there will be no. This, this is actually, uh, yeah, so they're, they're actually not clearing anything mm -hmm. to, to to make this happen. To be perfectly honest, they it is a working farm, so if if there's working tractors going on there, I'm sure Nesrel must have some sort of permit in place if that's the case, if that's what you're stating. Well, no, Unless this is a for event. That's a It's when you're basically, if you're basically, for example, you're trying to, uh, on the size of the, you're clearing the area for the mud pit to occur, you're clearing the areas for basically for the trucks to move in. Maybe you do not need it. I'm just stating that one of the things that I'm concerned about is that basically when we go forward on anything with that time, that certain environmental standards and state standards are met and fulfilled, and the people who are carrying them out do meet them. Oh, certainly. Um, I, I, I strongly believe in this. Um, there won't be that sort of impact. I, I think part of the reason that they go for this is probably because it's the naturally occurring. Yeah, but I'm not talking about just the impact. I'm just talking about the legal requirements for the NEPTES permit. I think okay. we could ask you to ask Webby whether or not this activity would require the construction general permit for the, the NIPTES uh, permit. I, I don't think it does. <coughs> and, and my lawyer, my lawyers, he never mentioned it because we don't, nothing's permanent. Yep. And, uh, <coughs> but we can put yeah, that, we, we can have the, just confirm that it doesn't need to be done. Yeah. And if it does. So what do I do now? Well, it can be just a, Part of the condition that you you have to meet that you have to show that if you do need to file the permit then you file you just have to do oh it. yeah yeah I don't know I don't know how to even go about that no, your so engineer would be able to do that for you yeah Joe should I mean it's right not right. a very complicated permit a very good permit I can give you my notes here if that be any help you well I I do look right off the bat like um, like when we do the mud pits they naturally form in so many aspects right there and there was a criteria about underneath of an acre of land. And if we went above and beyond an acre of land, then we would have to pursue a certain permitting thing. And uh, the way we measured them, we measured them larger than they are due to growth, and we were still under an acre of land. And I remember crossing that bridge for the pit six years ago. Yeah, so that that's probably something that you've already cleared through. You just need need a confirmation paper from when you yeah, that? yeah, you should be able to. So what am I asking them exactly? No, this, no, this is a NEPTES permit. Or NEPTES. So it's with EPA. Hold on, hold on. Too many talking at once. The architectural engineer will be aware of this. Yes, there's no doubt about that. Yes, it's an EPA notice of intent for the NEPTES permit. So 
So he's going to do what? No. Just confirm with Webby Engineer whether or not he believes he needs a National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System permit from EPA. National Pollutant Discharge. It's a NIPTES permit. N-P-D-E-S. And you don't, if you're less than an acre of disturbance and it's temporary, then you probably don't sure. need it. But I think yes. that could be a general condition that you get any and all was, required well, state and local permits. In 2013, we had to cross that bridge at one point. And um, like I said, we measured it. We were over measured it because we know we're going to grow and mm -hmm. all that. And uh, we were still underneath the eight, far under an acre of Yeah. So it's probably fine. I think you just need to check it to make sure it still applies. Those measurements were actually on my. Um, I did myself. And, they, they don't, and the two other points that I made in my letter to you, one is to ensure that the either plans or some of their to deal with potential spills of oil or whatever, and that they are properly um, cleaned up. Um, it's more of a contingency plan as opposed to regulation. Um, but oftentimes, if you have a machine and people fill up, if they do fill up, there, I don't know if they do or not, but that should be something that should be uh, bring their own. Yeah, and then just make it a stipulation to other races. Be like, fill up your gas, fill yeah, up your truck beforehand. Yeah, just make it a stipulation. Yeah, that's what I want to make sure. And I don't think you want to get in that gate. Yeah, no, we don't have gas down to the field. Gas trucks pulling up. You don't have any fuel containment systems there at all. So you have no filling on site. No, absolutely not. Do you want to copy this? I suppose. <laughs> we got some of the information on what he's okay. uh, talking about. And the only other thing is, is that after the event is that this proper dewatering of the site to make sure that the site is restored and um, meets typical kind of stormwater drainage guidelines when you restore the site. Okay. So those are the main things. Everything is just returned to normal when you're done, right? Basically, yeah. That, 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 that is one of the views of those yeah. that the low impact on the on the site. I'm sure Nezra would have won his farm back in worse shape than when he left it in. Yep. And I think as it relates to the noise issue, I think the zoning board has some discretion in terms of what they allow for these individual events in terms of the hours of the operation as it relates to the noise generated from them. They, uh, they may, but I'm just citing state law. It's, it's not somebody having a party out there housing. Oh, I don't have that. Or the, uh, the gun range for the police, I'm sure the decibel, I'm sure the decibel lot of, I can hear that a lot more than I can hear anything happening at the farm is the gun range, so yeah. I'm sure that exceeds the decibel level as well. We have more people out in the hallway that are out of the hearing? Not this one. Not this one, okay. I just want to make sure if anybody had any comments, if they have the opportunity. So do we need to confirm with legal whether or not this particular I would say so. code applies? Okay. Do you want me to go to legal? Is that what you just said? Yeah. Did you get an opportunity to take a look at the new plan? Uh, no, no, I just saw the one that was um, online. Was Any, anybody wants to take a look at it? I don't want to keep anybody from seeing what we're talking about. Okay. Did you say you had the uh, the specific code, the 310 CME 710, with you? Yes. It was not the full the summary. Anybody else who has anything to add? I just don't know how different it would be if the fireworks goes over decibel. We have that a couple times a year, and that's often. That's actually yeah, it's, louder. It's my understanding that that's under the special permit. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's nothing primary about this. But I understand the, the concern about the noise, but I, I think the main thing that, that's different on this is the temporary mm -hmm. aspect of it. it is, I understand that you'd probably still be able to hear it or you could hear it from your house, but I, I, 
I think it falls under the you know the, the special permit, the limited time, mm -hmm. and and also when the the type of event it's going to be kind of Saturday probably early afternoon I assume yeah. to it's Sunday early it's evening. Sunday oh, nine Sunday. to five usually usually the noise is done by three because everything breaks. <laughs> Isn't there a Halifax noise ordinance posted as well? I, I'm not aware of any. On the permit, they tell me no amplified music down the bottom. Yeah. And I know in my neighborhood they have parties around and people will try to complain before 9 o'clock and the police will like they can crank that music up until 9 o'clock. Mark, you said yeah. there's no noise on Not that I know of. I, I didn't think there was. The, the only well. one I know of, even in Plymouth County, is actually on Water Street. That's the only noise on this. Yeah. Yeah, you file it. You'd have to file it with the police department. Not like it's not with the town. No, this town. No, doesn't. But if they're only doing it so one day a year up until a certain prior point. to me coming back, do I have to get that webby thing? Yeah, I, I'd, I'd just get it confirmed. Yeah. Yep, and then. And what, what is my time frame on that? A day, two days prior to the meeting, or? I don't know. There's anything you formally yeah, need to probably submit. Probably as possible. Should I just have him email it to you all? Yep, that's fine. If you find something, just email it. And yeah, yeah, and then we'll have something on paper. That that way, I don't have to do yeah, if he says in his opinion, <coughs> the maybe permit doesn't apply or MEPA doesn't apply, I think that's yeah. all he needs. It's just his opinion on whether or not it's applicable. Maybe possibly if I have, you don't uh, have the dictation. I have my physical measurements that I, I physically walked it. And, and yeah, you, no. you could do the math and figure it out. You know, it was 175, 125. And that's including all the pits, which I didn't have to do. I could have yeah. did them individually. Yep. And yeah, so that, when you do the math, yeah, that would keep your name there. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we can satisfy that and give the other board the time just to take a look at the new plan, um, I, I don't see any changes that need to be made to what's here. Um, next meeting would be March 7th. Is there any other discussion? Is there, I, I, I'm sorry, Gordon, is there somebody that he can contact with the verbiage of that permit that he needs just in case? You can just send an email to Terry, right? Mm -hmm. Well, excuse me. We do just in, in, on your behalf. Oh, okay. If you need any more information I'll based on that special on permit, they said to talk to Terry. Yeah, just send an email to Terry. Yeah, I don't have to email that. Just to get it. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's all, I don't, I don't know if you're aware of the situation, but it's all in courts and so on and so forth. And um, we're all under agreement that we're going to have to move forward with my best and all that. And it's supposed to withdraw our decision. Yep. All right, what we will need is a, um, a mutual agreement to continue the hearing okay. so that we can get to the March 7th, yeah. March 7th meeting. Um, we need you to sign on for that agreement, and then we'll sign it. Um, probably if we get a 30-day, that would give us time to have the meeting and get the decision to the town clerk. Basically, you got to sign it because we can't act on it now. So if you can just like grant us the extension, so that what, way. Until the seventh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I grant it to you guys. You need to sign it. Yeah. 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 I just. Well, that helps me. It. You know, yes. yeah. why wouldn't I sign it? What name am I today? What's X? I've already got a date. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who I am today. Who am I? A petitioner. A petitioner. All right. <laughs> it's been a rough. Four months bad car accident. I don't know if my brains came back yet. Okay. And then I, I need a motion for us to sign a mutual extension. Somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we for 30 days. sign a 30 day extension for the public hearing for permit 19 SPR 01 from Mudfest. Second. 
I have a motion and second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's it. That's so, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, suspend the hearing and um, open it up on March 7th. March 7th. But prior to the 7th, you'll get from Webby. Yes, you're going to yes. you're going to contact Webby. He'll send information to me. And I'm asking, what is that there? Did you write it down for me? The yeah. APA. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully that's it. Good luck. Thanks. It's just been a process. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Did we do a motion? No, we didn't. We just made a motion to extend. So, motion to continue the public hearing, then open reopen. <laughs> motion to continue the public hearing. Give me a second. Too much. So, we have time for that. Do you have? Can I have the? Do you have the agenda real quick? Motion to continue the public hearing for Mudfest and Petition 19, SBR 01139, Hemlock Lane, to March 7th at 6.35 p.m. Okay, have a motion. There's a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Expand industrial zone to to inquire the medical the marijuana dispensaries going up town. Now with the with the um, with the daycare up there, dancing school, it pretty much eliminates all of the industrial zone up there. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for an overlay and how that's created and how I can do it to try to get it up near Morgan's. So I know we have to go in front of the get the signatures for the town meeting and stuff like that. But how would you guys suggest that I go about that? Would an overlay be the best way? No, it's tied to how the marijuana is allowed, right? It's got to be so we zone. tried to change that. We yeah. couldn't get it to change. Yeah. But no. you want to increase the zone, but it's not industrial. We want to, to. We want to bring the industrial back, so it's in the commercial area. Okay, it's commercial business, and that brings you all the way up to where Morgan's is right now. Do we have a map? Because I thought commercial ran down one of no, six. No, I'll basically show you how it sets up. Here's yeah. but yeah. Not in okay, right now, and here's your industrial right here. So we're looking to prevent an overlay just to go right over here. Instead of what we tried last time to try to change the zoning and everything, yep. we want to just do an overlay. And that's why I'm here to find out how we create the overlay, how do we do it. And what you guys would recommend for us to do. An overlay or changing the actual zoning? I'm pretty sure it's an overlay. They did it for the cell towers, I believe. That's, That's a, a separate zone. Is that a separate one? Yeah. How would you guys recommend we do that then? What would be the best practice for it? I think you have to change the zoning from residential to industrial. Yeah, I think you'd have to petition town, town meeting and everything. They'd have to vote on it. To just to get town. to this one section for the overlay? Yeah. The town meeting. Yeah, I don't see any that other way. There's no other way around that. Okay. But that, I would assume that would even have an even greater chance than the last thing, I which I so. thought that had a good chance. I, I, think, I, so, know, I, I think so, too. I was surprised that that didn't go. Yeah, but. I think so, too. So that's probably the best way we should do it. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Especially for where you're talking, it's mm -hmm. not a bad idea for the town to increase the industrial area. The whole industrial that town, that side of town right now is basically, it's, it's, it's dead. There's nothing it's, you can do down there. That's what I'm just, I mean, yeah. uh, especially thinking that things like the recycling center, that those technically aren't, that must be, or is really close. 
Honestly, we had a deal last year with the with the landlord for this property, and we did think it was industrial zoned. We went and saw Charlie and had it all drawn up and everything, and it was right outside the zone. So we don't want to go down toward the town. We just want to be in this basic area over here. So that's why I come to you guys to try to figure out the best practice of how we should probably do it. Well, it's only there in the industrial zone. That's it. And yeah. this with the day Is there care, another chunk off of 105 though? I believe it's on um, on 105 is on River Street. Yeah, yeah. they're having a There's problem a right now though with um, parking and everything else. I don't think it's going to go. I don't think it's going to happen. That was with Ford. That, that is industrial zone. Yeah. Though, right. But uh, goes Wood Street too. Yeah. Or by the computer mills also. Oh, yeah, the right? computer mills. I think it's owned by one. Private party up there, though, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I think you'd have to make a proposal for That's the a change. Yeah, I think as long as you kept it, I think it's Laurel Street, yeah. right, yeah. right there. Sir, I mean, Laurel. Yeah. As long you as think you that'd be the best bet, like, like last time, do it like that. Yeah, especially if you held some some sort of distance off of 106 to kind of set it set that to some restriction you know what i mean set the new zone to straddle 106 for a few hundred feet on either mm -hmm. side that way it wouldn't affect it, you know any other roads i don't i mean furnace doesn't even come back that far or anything but. so there wasn't a single spot in that industrial zone that got the distance nothing setbacks. nothing mm -hmm. nothing worked across the street dead we were working with the guys across the street actually that owns all the um, storage units over there. Yep. Unless they rezone the entire place and divided it up, everything comes within 500 feet from across the street from the daycare center. So anywhere in the industrial zone is gone. There's nothing up there. And um, did you try buying out the uh, daycare day day day? Yeah. <laughs> Plan C. Plan C. <laughs> Plan C. But there's two of them up there, so. Um, so that's the issue. I mean, I, I don't, you know, want to bang on somebody's door and ask them to buy a building, but Donald says it every day. I know. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts says so it every I know, day. I know. Listen, I've talked to them too. So they have a building beside them, but we don't want to be up that way. So as far as um, what do you think my my best approach would be to be up to this? You'd have to go for for zoning change. Okay. Just as long as the zoning change is connected to the other, then it's not spot zoning. Right. But, you know, then you're going to have to. So, how should I write that up? You have to get signatures, right? You I get, get the signatures, get by, March, signatures by March 1st, get, right? To get it, um, yeah. Get March 1st, to get on the warrant. Um, you might want to contact um, an engineer so they can give you where you want it, because I know that when they did the other one, when they put algers onto the. Um, from residential to commercial. I think you needed like your longitude and latitudes and stuff like really? that. Really? That much, huh? Right. You exactly. need to know which parcels are included. Yeah, addresses or whatever. Yeah. And we pretty much have the parcel all set as long as we can just get the zoning correct for it. Yeah, yeah. but we're saying this in order to prepare something to get the town to pass it, yeah. there's a serious amount of engineering work that's oh, going to go into it. It's yeah. not going to be just verbiage and, hey, I'd hey, like to change this. Area, yeah, 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 that's going to be an issue. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I know something to help me out with that, so. But is it the best way I should probably do it then? I see Charlie That's the only way I think. Yeah. It's the only way you can do it. Okay. Is for yeah. zoning change. Yeah. Because like Gordon said, you can't do spot zoning for just one parcel. Right, right. All right. Well, I mean, and the I idea of extending that districts. in that area isn't a bad idea. That's just the old half of the yeah, town. Yeah, we don't live there. You don't live there. He wants the whole building. We all live there. Yeah. 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 It's, not, it's not a possible. You know, about five hundred feet, half the half building. industrial area. We so overlook the blue building. Are you guys in the back of that over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 when you said there was no <coughs> residences. Yeah. It also says in the bylaws it can't be where the kids gather, not not including schools and daycares. So this room in that industrial park. But it's got to be written up exactly. You know, I get that. Industrial mark is still open at 500 feet. 500 feet. Without a favor of it. So we, which industrial park are we talking about? The one that has WS and Liddell yeah. back there? Yes. Both sides. Both sides. There's even commercial sites for property still for sale. The thing is, he doesn't want to build a building. He wants that blue building in a neighborhood. 
Show them the picture from this gentleman's drawing. Is that the new one that recently got constructed? Yeah, the that people already voted to keep it industrial. He's trying to side You also have to remember that's not just industrial. That's industrial adult. So now you're moving that down into a family neighborhood. In. You need to what tell the truth. Oh, no, I, listen, I'm, what I know that everybody's going to support it. I, 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 I understand. And you did not tell the truth. Can, can we <coughs> maybe we'll talk one at a time? It's going to be industrial as well. I don't think both those businesses fail or whatever. What's going to happen next? Well, that's what I'm saying. Um, it's just I funny. think it's worth looking at what's the impact of that on the town. Like As far as we already know, the amount of industrial in the town isn't that great. It's... There's Probably inadequate. Four other, four other areas. Four other areas. Non but there's nothing in them. No. Yeah, there is. It's, no, 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 no. Um, so, I mean, we got to look at that as does that impact, how that impacts the town. That's that's our view on it's it. A also. Town, but you just got out of a meeting with Mudfest that they, it's a farm town. It's not an industrial town. And you guys have the master plan that even speaks to the government. Yeah, right. All the years saying you shouldn't be doing the commercial business and adding to it. Down the strip like that. Be down to your house next, Gordon. Yeah. And I think also so we can't really... vote to keep it a certain way. You just go side skirt it. You just go to any zoning and change it. And put no, it but I think if anybody has a, a town proposal meeting. for the town, this is the place to do it. If someone wants to make a change to the town, this is where they come. We that, we were an open door for anybody. If you wanted to make it smaller, I would extend priority. the same gratitude to you guys. You know. Yeah. He, st he went in front of the selectmen and said there's buffer, no houses nearby. That's, that's in front that's of a driveway. driveway. That's from another house. That's from another yeah. yard looking at it. Was no that buffer. in your driveway? Did you walk across the street? So it looks I, like I went to, wait, when you took that picture, I was at today. Yeah. So, no, you, that's in the driveway. That's yeah, the yeah, building that's driveway, next to Morgan's. We weren't up there yet. That, that's next to Morgan's. No, no, it's the sign. The sign. This is the driveway. They're behind the blue building. That the we were up there today. Oh, yeah. I saw that picture. We went up there and took the same picture. But you said there was a house on the house. Is that the building called the line? Line? There's no there's 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 there. Not everybody's going to agree. I understand that. I'm not looking to cause any problems any of you folks, honestly. I live in town, so I'm not looking to cause any problems. You can also not have any kids. Yeah. That's what we're working on right now. That's why we're here. That's we're not looking to start any trouble on you folks. I'm sure you guys are great folks. I hear you. I've been in this town since 1995. No problem. Any. And I'm sure not everybody's going to agree with this. It's just, it's... No, but it's that you're not stating the facts. There's still half facts. the place that's unbuilt in that yeah. industrial park. Well, you, what you're saying it's all the town means. Problem. You're welcome to come and present that. I mean, it's... It, honestly, guys, in another decade, it's going to be like having liquor stores. They're going to be everywhere. They're going to be everywhere. Maybe it's just, not this time. I mean, that's how you guys feel. I, I respect your decisions. Uh, listen, I'm not here to call them from a new folks. I'm sure you're fine folks. We're just trying to do our thing, that's all. Yeah. But All you right. need to be truthful with the facts. If, if the sum I said wrong, I, I, I apologize. You did it at the selectmen's meeting. I don't recall. What did he say? What did I say? And that probably means you're going to get up and do it at town meeting. What did he say? That was mm -hmm. What did I well, say after that? Yeah, but yeah, as far as, 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 I mean, as, far as we're concerned, the way I'm looking at it, we have someone who's proposing the change. We're going to. We're going to take a look at it just as if anybody came in here and said the same thing. And we need to know um, the real facts of what he's actually asking for because it seems like there's some ambiguity on what exactly the question is and what the ask is. So and That's why so I'm saying we're not going to go off of a word. We're, we're asking for an engineer to take a look at this and propose something. If, you know, that's, if he was making sneakers, it would be different. He's not. Yeah. Yeah, but if, if someone so. came in and said that they were making sneakers, we'd say the same thing. Okay, get an engineer and propose and give us something and show us. The clientele is going to be coming in. We don't want You know the town voted in favor of it, right? And they also voted to keep it industrial, which there are. No, no, that wasn't a vote. I was there. No, no, no. You're mixing things up. But anyways, I'm not. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> where we're at here tonight was you came in to ask what the yes. process was. That is the process. Okay. Um, and there would have to be a public hearing prior to the town meeting, and everybody can voice their opinion on that. In town meetings, a two-thirds vote, correct? Mm -hmm. For zoning change, correct. But the townspeople decide not. Right. That's yeah, not yeah, that's not us. No, we just we, we have to hold the hearing for it, but, but but we do make a recommendation on it, and that's that's how it works. <coughs> okay. Thank you guys for your time. I'll see Charlie tomorrow and get his run up. <clears throat> All right, thank you guys. Okay, thank you.
Guys, honestly, I don't, I don't want to fuck up. Oh, you right? I'm, 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 I'm glad you guys need everything. All right. All right. Right out of the spot. All right. So, thanks, thanks, guys. We'll, we'll work on it. One question. You guys said you make a recommendation on it. But when he was standing up there, it sounded like you had been working with him last time they tried to do this. Uh, no, the last, I don't, I don't work with him at all. Okay. Like, there's no connection it between just, me and him. It was a statement. But like, um, the last time th there was a different proposal was to... Um, make it uh, allowable in business. Uh, yes. This, that, that was the different, yeah. that was the other thing. That he had we proposed... Make a we make a recommendation board. after the hearing based on what the input is. And that particular thing got voted down at town meeting. Yeah, I did as well. That's good to hear. All right. Well, like I said, it doesn't, doesn't mean that somebody there, can't bring something before. Gets a chance. Oh, no, I, I understand you can bring it before you, but. And that building right now is in the commercial district or yes. it's in the industrial? It's in business. It's right next to Morgan's, the blue building. Okay. Okay. But now yeah, I know what you're saying because that. Peter's alarm uh, company. So what's the section? So circuit leaves 106, and then Laurel comes, and then what's the section that used to go to BFI? That's Laurel. That's, that's Laurel. Laurel also? Okay. That's my street. That's All right, so that, so that means you guys are up on the hill above the blue building. I'm up on the hill above the blue building. All right. I overlook um, his right mercury out. vapor lights at night. If, from building to building, multiple houses. Are the light shining up on you? Yeah, yeah we can see the glow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's up. Is it a glow or is it shining up on you? It's not shining in the back. Well, I have to look out the bathroom window. Because that thing is supposed, supposed to, to. Yeah. That's from the ad. Uh, it lights yeah. up all the ads. And because it can be deflectors yeah. put on the lights. Yeah, we have not brought, yeah. He put one deflector on the light over here, <laughs> but none of the ones that face the houses. Well, but I mean, if you make a complaint to us, that's something okay. that we can... Right. No. Do we have your names really. and stuff signed in? Yep. Yeah. So is your impression that he's trying to change the zoning for that building? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. I think that's, that's not what I took from he what I'm saying. He just wants to sue yeah. him and take that building. Yeah, and that's, that's yeah. enough. That's... My understanding was he was trying to get the zoning behind the WS buildings and all those yes, to get changed to industrial. Like Isn't that building is still? It's, the blue it's, building. The blue it's too it's close to the daycare okay. still, right? That blue I building. That I feel like it's still it too close from to watching the, to the daycare. From setbacks, from all the things he needs to get setbacks so. from. No, if I think it just needs his space requirements that he needs to make just grow square footage to do the daycare. But I don't know that it meets any setback requirements. Okay. You don't know what kind of. Yeah, I know the building. That was the creepy side. There's the edge of the road of the daycare. I'm talking like. So there's front of the entrance. Yeah, you still have all this redevelopment that's still in industrial. Between the side of the river. river. I mean, How far do you think it is then? Uh, I'll bet it's just the zone that's by the Laurel Street. So you still have all this here, here and it's industrial on this yeah, side of the road. This might be owned by a public building. Okay, yeah, yeah. Isn't it a diagonal line though? He doesn't already have a building and he doesn't want to have a direct building. But when you figure it down the road, I'm just going to put up a dispensary. Yeah, you got to put there like a range. My understanding was that was the zoning change. I just started when I drove it out. It's always all like closer than the building. the building for the town. You should be able to. I don't know. If you could get the setbacks and you're in the right district, you know, industrial, RG, or whatever. Yeah. Where the salt panels are. Yep. And there's already a clear place there. There's all. So it doesn't appear at the. Is there industrial on 58? It was on 105. 105, right? 58. Down at the down at the bottom. It hits. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a sign says. Something already cleared, like a whole has it for sale right now. Yeah. That's actually in Clinton. No, no, it's in Halifax too. So that was another statement saying that's the only place that he can't go. So. Well, I mean, it's it's pretty it's well underwater down right there, and the stuff on River Street is is not really buildable. I mean, when we picked the industrial spots, we picked kind of the crappiest areas, but. Well, I understand a lot. <laughs> we don't want it. I mean, well, no, I don't think that's... To a point. Uh, when, when people think about industrial, they say, okay, stick it to the outside of the town. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they think smokestacks. Well, you think of Halifax, what does it say? Yeah. Wow. God knows. Cranberries. And I've been reading the town planning reports. Before I answer and pray, God will give me a... It brings a lot of points to Halifax should be the district's rate. Central yeah, not have these broken out of 106. Well, to keep the character in the right town, the reason it's that way is because 106 used to wind through town. Yep. Then they straightened it out. Mm -hmm. You know, 
we don't really have enough business zone in town. No. You think about it. I mean, That's you know, we don't have business to offset the residential. It's small business. Tax 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 not my bad. Well, listen, right now, there's a reason that we put the industrial places. Uh, power lines with the natural buffer there. The way from the sand. Power lines are great. Right right the 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 yeah, it, it was, was nice when it was stellar. <laughs> but uh, I think, like I was saying, like at first glance, pulling the industrial down where it's already connected. Stella's going to stay there forever. Yeah, take a look at it. You know, <laughs> she but. was a character. <laughs> She was a yep. I never did eat there. No? No, I didn't. Why? Eat. It was good. Used to smell the bread and everything. That's wheat. Oh, no. I remember she had the like the rice in the salt to keep it from sticking or something. I would go with my she grandfather all the time. And I remember the yeah. first time I remember being like, oh, and I'm like, oh, man, huh? I get yeah. the thing. Like, I, 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 could, I couldn't stand it. Oh, she was and he would bring me in there like all the time. Like, she, oh, no. she was a character. Yeah. She had yeah. walk through, like, out, and then all the time again. We're just going to grind it. We're just going to grind it. Just the one other question. As it was on the bylaw, and the law, it can't be within 500 feet of children gallop. Yeah. The, the way it's spelled out, it sounds like it'd just be kids all the time at the Gregory Barn. That's what 500 feet are in the neighborhoods. There's no buffer. Kids are looking right at the building. Well, I, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, that, that's for legal determination, you know. Yeah. Is I think it's like school, a school, or childcare, or just where children gather. As like a use, like a right? Yeah. It doesn't that's specify. Be, no, no it doesn't. The There's got to be a spot over there, tent. 500 feet away from there. There is. And that's why it was picked for the industrial zone because it's, it's typically they're further away from the residential properties. Mm -hmm. and the very back of the cul de sac for that. It's yeah, but that's I'm all. Sorry, I got sorry to built. Your meeting, but I knew he was not telling the truth. I'm sorry. Well, he I wasn't apologize. the just left well, well, I think that's why he's got to put forward a real map of exactly what he's trying to propose, and then we can all talk about the same thing. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're good. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right. Good seeing you. We'll be seeing you again. Yeah. Yeah. Follows along. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to send a letter to him with a complaint? Probably nice. That the lights are shining into the residential houses. Or yeah, I mean they didn't really come out and make that complaint. That's all. But the guy here on the end came to me the other day. And oh, he did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can do that. Because they should have deflectors on them so they're not shining up there. Is that what our lighting ordinance says? Mm -hmm. They need to be downward facing. Yeah. Does it actually say that? Yeah. Okay. It does um, after doing the Dunkin' Donuts side. Yep, it definitely does. Okay. <laughs> I can't shine on top of the property. Uh, is anyone interested in doing those other meeting minutes or do you need more time to read them? Because oh, we need time after good. that meeting. Mm -hmm. After that, we need a communication. So we get them in there. So. Is this, uh, <laughs> wait, do we get paid <laughs> <laughs> is O'Reilly coming in today? They're not coming in. What it is, is it has been submitted. I have an official okay. copy. We will be doing a public hearing for the site plan review. Okay. Um, but usually with these new buildings, commercial buildings, um, depending on the scope of it, uh, we would send it out for a third party review. Let's to, do that. To, for a review engineer. So I thought we would get going on did, that. Did they say what size building they were doing already? It is. 7,225 oh. square feet. Who's the engineer? That's key. Just under 7,500. Yeah, but we're 15,000. Why? What is 7,500? It used to be 5,000. For what? For a special, special permit. permit. Either way, they're going to need relief from parking. Is that not a special permit? There's only one with the S. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They are asking for 4 waivers. They actually told us what waivers they're asking for? Wow. Well, they, they told me because Secret. there was a little note on the plan that said uh, you need to be more specific. So, so they're not putting uh, the quadruplexes in there, huh? What? What? The, remember the condos? Yeah. That's how good. Uh, yeah. Well, it's still possible then. No, yeah. this is the parcel right next to Mutual Bank. Yeah, no. So I thought that was yeah. Cumberland's possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Cumberland Farms Park? Mm. I thought that was. Is this, isn't that Ellis Rowell's property? No. He wants that. Uh, 
No, because what's uh, the the folks there in town? They subdivided that land. Pex. Yeah, the Pex. Yeah, the Pex owns that's not that a that property. Owns that. Owns that. Oh. Which Pex owns so that? So that parcel wasn't well, part of the subdivision that we did. Mm -hmm. I thought it was because it was directly opposite the stop -a shop entrance. Right here. Yeah. Was this not part of no. the Peck parcel and no. then subdivided out to create it? No. no. That no. one already existed. Yeah, so I think he has yeah. But I'm pretty sure. Before. I think he has this one too, though. He has these. Yeah. So, like that other lot was. But we did do a form A on that, didn't we? I don't. Because he had to mess with the radius on that thing because it was like two hundredths short of the length required to get this width. I'm not sure if they gave it because they were the infamous for their uh, there was a <laughs> light up sign. That's not going to happen. All right, there's a little bit of a yeah for now that never used to be. Gas filter, so we should get a variance for gas filter tubes. No. <laughs> we don't. They won't even allow it for Dunkin' Donuts. No, no. Yeah, they're infamous for their their uh, internally lit signs. It would be nice to have this in and um, exit out here. That would be nice, actually. Shared driveways. Mm. Here, they'll cut out one more exit. But they were going to put a light there, weren't they? Anyways. Yeah, there is one there. Oh yeah, but I mean a light facing. For this piece. Hmm? The curb cut's already there for this piece. Yeah, I know. It's just it's kind of a lousy mm. setup. Maybe it's only do like an in for that curb cut, and then well, that's the out. Third part of your view is for. Yeah, where's the light for this one? Right there. This is that the light, the mass bar? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So that is where the other entrance is gonna be. So these guys are off that intersection. Okay. Yeah, but not yeah, but like, far down. And like heading west, taking a left into that's gonna be terrible. Mm-hmm. But I imagine it's not gonna be it. It's gonna be nice to come out this way. But. Yeah, that's just a swamp on water. It's, it's the trouble when you get one piece at a time. Because mm -hmm. hmm. the same thing happened on the other side of the street with Walmart and then Stop and Shop. Yeah, because if they came one, together, we could have had them sorry, connect. Had connect them. Mutual mm -hmm. bank, so people could have I'll tried it behind the lights. Away. You're going to go to conservation too, looks like. Oh, yeah, so you just bang them, right? Yeah. Oh, gee. So they haven't done an official they application. They have no, they submitted have. a site plan. I received all the fees today. Okay. Um, I do have a letter. Um, of waiver requests, three of them would have to go to zoning anyway. I've sent them the special permit applications. They are going to be asking for a variance and or whatever special permit for internally. But are they up for so on March 7th? For the site plan review? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Okay. They're not going to... Yeah, I was going to say, aren't they just not allowed? I thought we weren't allowed to give them to is for internally lit signs. We're not. Nobody is. But there, when I get, that will come after the site plan. I've got to do the, um, once they do an application for the variance special permit for the sign, then it'll be a separate public hearing for the sign itself. But if they can't technically get one, can we even accept an application for they something like that? do the same thing that Dunkin' Donuts We can, we can always accept out. an application and, and let them like complete their case. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think we, we need to bring it along and make sure that, that we find that right angle in there, right? Okay. Because we all said that maybe the angle for Dunkin' Donuts was maybe a little too high for there. Well, it's it's out. seventy point eighty two with the street and seventy one there. So. It's only a foot. No, it's not even. Oh, how about a couple of, of foot? 
Oh, 70.82. Okay. Yeah. It's They're pretty coming steep. out brief. Yeah, it's like, oh, 5%. That's not that bad. Because those are 20 feet between the contours at one foot spacing. So that's less yeah. than 5%. Yeah, that's not that bad. That's 20. Right? Because these spaces are 20 feet long from here to here. So from there to there is about 20 ish. All right, for ballparking. Yeah. Yep. So this seems a lot more reasonable. This is all ditched, though. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. this all slopes seems down off oh, mutual oh, banks. Oh, the valley came and down like ground. It's going to be just five feet of ground the foot. <laughs> yeah, because he was using a plan yeah. from 1427. Pond. Pond. And he just hand wrote some notes on it. That's a tough area. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get to decide who to send? To send the who's the review engineer? Yeah. yeah. Who we want to use? So look. I don't know if we have any. Um, we probably should send out for some requests. Some bids, or. Well, we've got Merrill, we've got Amory, we've got Silva Engineering, and. Have we got any Tom. recent pricing? They haven't changed in the last year when I went. Okay. And that's for the pricing, so. How do we do this? We have people propose and say, I think it'll take me this many hours to do it, or do we just say this is what the budget is? Well, basically In the, in what the happens, past, what we've done is just given it to them and they've done the review, but I, I really think that what we need to do is have right. them take a look at it and give us an estimate of what they think it's going to be. We yeah. also have the petitioner has to give us an initial deposit for that review engineer, right. and I have received $1,500 for it so far. Right. Okay. But we've never sent it out with the cap on it, which I, I think it really, uh, we ought to have them come in and give us a, an estimate of what they think it's going to be. Just when I send them off to an engineer, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. You have to use that. Because I've seen it before yeah. where the engineer's done the work and the review engineer's was more than the engineer's work. Yeah, because you go back and forth, you got to write memos, you got to review it, you got to check their work. Yeah. That could be. That could, that could be. Could be. Okay. If in, all the information is not there. Mm -hmm. Get a landscape plan too. Yeah. What? And then some green engine though. Greenery. Aren't those going to be? Dangling over the doesn't say what the percentage of green is. Of it. You should on the zoning page on the site plan. They had some compliance tables on that. Did they on the first page? I think that's mostly where all that back. Uh, one of those directory signs. Same as the stormwater report, right? It, uh, it's a huge report. Because this is going to kind of come out. We have to look at five stormwater yeah. standard. Yeah. Uh, I like that they actually included an aerial map. You can actually see where it is. Yeah. Yeah, when you have a jingle, you can afford aerial maps. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 34 instead of 73. Not this week. Maybe that is pretty week. nice, though. Mm -hmm. That seems ridiculous that we need 75 parking spaces <coughs> for this. Mm. That's why when the guy came in, I'm like, show me another O'Reilly is about the same size, yeah. the type of flow. And so he's at 9.2%. They're not even asking for that lot many parking spots either. I think that's building lot That's coverage. the building. Yeah. But not the pavement. What's the requirement the pavement? for that? If you I think it's, um, if you have 40% green space, you can... Reduce. But he wasn't even going to be close with that number either. No. Do you know exactly what waivers he's asking for? I can go get them if you want. Yeah. I'd like to know. He has no he fire line get up, and the fire truck won't fit. What's up? The fire truck is not going to be big. It's not going to be big enough for the fire truck to turn around <laughs> in there. We have small ones. We don't have fires. That's what, hey, that's what he's been... Ooh looking at lately when we send when we send these things to to the, the chief over there 
uh, I'd have to say that whenever I look at them, I think of the same thing. Like, we need to show that a truck in an emergency could get up and get to the site. Does he really have to pull out of there at top speed? Like, as far as that goes? Like, Hell no. I mean, like, as far as, like, oh, I can't do you want a 15 fast. point like, turn? Well, this is kind of the point to get in there quick. Turn. Like, Less than half of those are small. Well, just nine by eighteen instead of ten by twenty. That's a pretty normal size. Thing. Well, they, they do a lot of um, auto pots for the electric cars, but uh, smaller. Smart cars. Yeah, but high. think of the cars that are in Halifax, though. Lifted <coughs> I've seen a couple of the electric ones. A lot of SUVs. A lot of Teslas here. <laughs> you do a couple of those little smart cars too. <laughs> What's the majority here? Lifted trucks, big SUVs, Jeeps. Full-size trucks. Full-size. What is this section about the gas-lit tubes? <laughs> That's his way Full around size. the internally lit. But what does that mean? That's like the it's neon still, like, open yeah, signs? Yeah, we have them in there on the gas. Yeah. But then it says you can't have it directly yeah, exposed they can't be to exposed. view? So what's the point of a sign if nobody can see it? Well, he's basically contending if the gas see the tubes. tubes are inside and you can't see them, then they can have an internally lit sign. Yeah. Okay. may not be wrong, but... Look at all the words. That's what I got out of that. But if you can't see them, then they don't really do me any good. <laughs> okay. that, even, that does make sense. Even for the neon open signs, right? So you yeah, can have you it. Have a, a, a big circle and it's open. Yeah. That's yeah. getting gas filled neon signs. But here it yes. says you can't have it at any place where anybody can see it. <laughs> we, we want business, but we don't want it to expand. Yeah, I said we put out a bid then. For... All right, so do you want me to send emails to him and take a quick look in the Maryland did last well. time. Mm -hmm. Who's doing all these things? It's Webby and uh, so, the other guy. Webby's not these. doing these. No, I mean, like, who does the reviews? So, so the engineering, yeah. right. Maryland Associates, Landing Landing hasn't done them in a while, right? Did they use haven't done anything in a while. Avery reviews a couple of times. Avery's usually pretty good. What put out I think it's more there. reasonable. Who did the other? PMP Associates. They just got bought out. That's who we've got. This is who we've got all our series. There's a Brian Murphy. Yeah. Over at Farland down in New Bedford, sure. No wonder they're not getting mine down in time. <laughs> Danubio Engineering in Norwell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just brought to both uh, Silva and uh, Amory. Mm -hmm. Just keep it small, keep the scope small. Silver? Silver and Amory. Have them come in and take a look. And they're reviewing the plants and the stormwater report. Yeah, pretty good with. So we basically just want to know. Yeah. Okay, did we approve the last minutes? You want to, they're very lengthy. Oh, okay. So we'll yeah, put it up for the next not, meeting? I have not had a chance to look over them. We'll, we'll wait for the next meeting. They're, you sent them out online. Yes, I did. 
Keep them back. Uh, no, you can Any other motions? We got mail. Make a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye.